said have to learn how to take the word no and after hearing this so much it's just like damn that's all I'm hearing is no but then when you finally get to that yes you're like now I can stop looking at these no's it's not yet so it's not necessarily a no it's just not yet Goes A's for ambition, be what I wanna be See past the situation that's in front of me Doubt is an enemy, Zeph, we say fuck em The irony is they inspire me to love em G is past go and ignite the cash flow When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last hope I as I inspire, but two light the fire So we be the street's number one supplier And jazz for them Jordans for my niggas when I make it Give me two of those strange no-name kicks Earth, wind, and fire type, elemental piece That resembles me, and it recounts for LMNOP You the track up like all oh, you impressed Get your bread kid But never let it go to your head That's S for success To be the best in T is teach back What you learn that's next Cause you got the power Be for voluntary action W is right out to life With a passion X is expect to fail Y cease to dream Even when you ain't Catching them Z's and Yeah so what you doing today man? Um Today Got the flash for the ball event printed out. Going around to a couple of establishments and dropping a few off. Um, also going to check on the pearl that, that, that we're going to uh, more than likely come out with um, the cloud pressure brand. Uh, for that, for the most part, that's it. And continue to, to push through social media. Um, and really just preparing for this ball event. There's a lot that goes into it. Coming down to the last, what, about 10 days. Also, CIAA, so, you know, it's a lot more traffic than usual here in Charlotte. In two miles, take exit 10 to Virgil. Yeah, as usual, man, it's always a plot pressure under pressure, man, so, let's get it. Being that, you know, they have a presence online, it's dated, they can say I stole their intellectual property. So, um, I would, um, all right, so this is, I would, yeah, I would go with my, I will go with my lawyer. Uh, it'll cost you a couple of dollars, but. What's a couple of dollars? Because <clears throat> I got, I got some access to lawyers, but I, they don't, I'm not going, I don't think they specialize in trademarks. Yeah, yeah, he specializes in that. Okay, so that's, that'll be a nice one for you. Okay, so that's, that's one. Do you like that's, that? That's, that may be it. Okay. Yeah. And that's a terry pullover, so um, it's got that nice, you know what terry cotton is? Uh, terry cotton is the softer cotton. Okay. That's what they use to like so bump cars you know, with. I am dumb when it comes to materials, and I'm yeah. not afraid to let that be known. Like, I, I don't know. Like, oh, that's I just know what, what, what I feel. Like, that's how I know. Well, they use terry because it's so soft, they use it to buff out cars and stuff like that. Because okay. if you used regular cotton, it would leave scratches and swirls. So is it more like a fiber cloth or a little softer? Is this is a softer rough? cup. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a softer cotton. Okay. Um, what I can do is I'm actually about to place an order. Mm -hmm. Before I stitch everything out, um, I, if I order this now, I still have time for it to be here tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah, it's just cotton though. Okay. Uh, it might have a little polyester in it, but uh, let's see if we can find a tag. It is 100% cotton. Okay. So yeah, it's just uh, basic cotton, but these come in weights also. So you might have this feels like it's probably an eight ounce shirt. So you know you can go anything from like a six ounce to a. a a 10 ounce, super heavy, you know. Like I said, one of my friends, um, some hoodies in PA, and I wasn't even thinking because I'm a North Carolina boy, mm -hmm. but man, it was no good in PA because really? of the weather. You know, he needed something heavier. Yeah. So, um, so weights are play a role in, yeah. you know, how they feel and stuff too. Uh, so it's kind of dope, man. I like that. That's that Chanel uh, lettering. The one that we. Yep. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out, man. It's, yeah, yeah. Man. It's dope, man. I am. I like that. Shakiness, man. I don't have no time for that. I say it two times. So we saw you passing out flies today. How'd that go? Uh, that went. That went pretty good. Um, 
So we, we pass some out at uh, the barber shop that I usually go to to get groomed at. Um, the, the Jamaican spot where I decided to eat lunch at. And um, where else did we put some at? We put some somewhere else? We put it somewhere else. Or we were supposed to, we just didn't make it this day. Time didn't permit. So um, I may be going to DC tonight to do uh, my motivational speaking course tomorrow. If I don't, I'll be back out there, pass on more flies to try to uh, create, generate some traffic for this event. Um, working tirelessly, man. Um, beyond exhausted, but we're almost down to it. Uh, had a great talk with a couple other entrepreneurs, and we all share the same struggle. So uh, just got to build each other up and motivate each other and keep, keep the grind, keep going. That's about it. Yeah, so man, tell me what we about to do, man. Uh, we're here at my alma mater, Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I got invited to uh, pretty much do a panel discussion where you know, past graduates come back and talk about what they do now uh, in their time at Johnson C. Smith. Uh, so it should be exciting and fun. Tune in. Right, so he is a sports manager, a brand builder, author, and a motivational speaker. He is a graduate of JCSU that majored in computer science and information system. And he found out that he didn't want to punch a clock at a corporation and wanted to work for himself, which led him to international basketball and writing. And upon retiring, he now manages a professional athlete, soon to be more. And also, he does other things in the entertainment industry. He hosts his own empowerment to motivational course in his hometown of Washington, D.C. His favorite quote is, your best ability is your availability. Everybody give him another hand. Um, I would say this, your own aspect, because you did play overseas, and you know the ultimate goal for everyone coming out of college and play sports is to play here right in the United States. So um, I would say, let's, let's hear your kind of feedback, even though I don't want to say you may be biased because you did go overseas and play. Um, however, some type of advice or how to look at the situation and not take it in a negative direction. Um, anything you get paid to do is a profession. No matter how you look at it, no matter what other people say, um, I maxed out my potential in playing, um, and that was to get overseas, and that's what I did. I don't care what anyone else has to say about the route I took um, or how much money I made over there but at the end of the day I did what I wanted to do with my life and that's what a lot of people have to realize you can't let people dictate what you do with your life because at the end of the day it's your life you have to live with it what piece of advice do not take this the wrong way. I did not need college to do what I'm doing now. And I don't want to like encourage anyone to drop out. Like, I, that's not what I'm trying to do. But everything that I'm doing now, I learned none of this for the most part in college. Like, manage, I went to school for computer science. I'm doing business management, marketing, running social media. Like, I'm learning on the fly learning through YouTube or Google or something like that or other business networking. That's how I'm not saying no, just open, like she said, open to every opportunity. So that's how I'm learning. Um, I'm glad I went to college because that's more of a network that I have here. By me managing a player that's plays for the Hornets, I built the network here for being here uh, five years. So I have connects that went to Johnson C. Smith. But, um, the biggest misconception is that you need cause to be successful and you, you really don't. So, did I answer your question? Are there any other questions? Any other questions? Yeah, I got questions. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, what advice would you give somebody who's looking to um, start a career uh, playing sports overseas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So my first year out, I didn't, I didn't get a contract my first year out. I did a whole year of, that's when I was working with computers. I was working with computers, doing security, um, and still finding time to work out. So what advice would I give someone that's trying to get overseas is, um, the same advice I would give to someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, 
and that is the word no means not yet. Like just keep pushing, like keep going. Like you're gonna have to separate yourself pretty much from everybody, family included, because they're gonna tell you your life is going down the drain. As a, for an athlete, you're gonna be a basketball bum. Um, if you were gonna be able to do it, you would be there by now. Like I'm telling you the stuff that I've heard personally from my closest people. You just have to have a mindset of like, I'm gonna give this everything I got. Like I said, it took me a whole like year and a half to actually play for $700 a month. And I had to try out for that $700 a month. So just no means not yet. Man, so tell me what you, what just happened, how was it? Uh, it was it was good, man, it was very inspiring. I um, mean, feedback, uh, the conversations after I got off stage or whatnot. Um, just, just good to come back and be able to give back to my, my school, my university, and show them what a product from here looks like and what you can do with that. Instead of thinking, saying, think outside the box, but there is no box. Um, so I, I think everyone gravitated to that. And hopefully we'll have more entrepreneurs, business owners coming out of Johnson this week. Right. What would it feel like being back on the campus, bro? Uh, it's a lot of memories, man. Um, right down there, that's the gym. Right here was the, the men's basketball dorm uh, we used to stay at. And a lot of things used to go down in there. No, uh, it's, it's, it's good, though, man. Like it's, It just brings back uh, humble beginnings, man. I didn't come from a big school. So um, to be able to feel the shoes that I'm in now as far as career-wise, to know that that can come from this small university, that in itself is a blessing, man. I'm, I'm humbled and blessed to, to, to be in where I am now. We had to record that way is because that's a visual city state in here. See how that would be. Everybody uses our gym because the, the dance are played at yeah. the Bo James Coliseum and the Spectrum Center. And so we want to use this to practice. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's my humble beginnings right there, man. Uh, like he showed you up there, the uh, 08 09 back to back champs. I was a part of that team. And here we are.